talking about. Anyway, my first guest won an Oscar for Pulp Fiction, already one of the wi most widely respected directors in the business. He's currently appearing in the film Destiny Turns on the Radio. It is in theaters right now. He also directed an episode of the NBC hit series ER, which will air May 11th. Please welcome our old buddy, Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, change your yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's an amazing what an Oscar can do. Yes, I mean. yes. Now, let me ask you about that night, because I watched you on TV, and I know you a little bit here. So, obviously, I know you, you worked in a video store for, like, uh, 90 years or something. Up yeah. to your 27, right? You were a clerk. You knew all the movies. Was this the ultimate thrill of a lifetime, obviously, to, to be at the Academy Awards and getting an Academy Award? Well, it was, uh, it was bizarre, all right? It was really weird, actually. You know, the weirdest thing about it was, uh, actually, Tom Hanks said it really well in one of those interviews he did before the Oscar night, where they were asking him, oh, does this look like you're going to just walk away with the Oscar after winning all these things? And, uh, and then he said something to the effect of, like, well, it's a long season. We've got a lot of things to go yet. And it was like, I'm, like, not into sports in any way, shape, or form. Right. Uh, and all of a sudden, I felt like, I was like on a Super Bowl team during Super Bowl season. I mean, I don't know if it was just because I had to go to all of them, but it seemed like there was about like 15 more award show this year, all right, than there <laughs> ever it. has been right, before, right. all right? And it was like I had to go to all these different things. I had to put on this suit and that suit and go to these whole things. So it was like finally when I got to Oscar night, I was like, great, it's over. Okay, after this, it's over. And the it's whole... like a Twilight Zone. It's like one of those yes. Twilight Zones where... You know where the guy guy thinks he's in heaven because he's winning all the time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the guy goes, no, this is the other play. They play the music. I, you know, actually, what I got really excited about, though, I just found out that I actually won it last weekend, was I won a, an Edgar. And an Edgar is like the prize that they give to uh, uh, mystery writers. Oh, okay. All right, okay. it's like a, this little bust of Edgar Ed Allan Poe, you oh, know? Yeah, it was, he's real sorrowful. He looks like, I'm sorry you won, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh God, I can't believe my name is being associated with you. But like, but it was like, I've, I've seen that award forever. Like, you know, Edgar Award winner for, you know, and I was like, oh my gosh, I won an Edgar. Well, that's pretty neat. I have to say something. <laughs> yes. I just want to make an observation here. You changed the drummer girl's position. She used to be over there. Every I believe other time. that would be the drummer woman, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> the drummer gal, uh, the, the percussion uh, lady. The percussionist. <laughs> Because that percussionist lady could just kick the hell out of both. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, it's like, it's That's like, we moved every, over there. You and moved we over moved, there. It's like front. every single time I've been on the show, I look, look at you and yeah. I look at her, all right? She was like right in my field of vision. And yeah. I would just get this crush on her from just like oh. looking at her over there. And, and then she came up and introduced herself to me the last time I was on the show, you know? And it was like, ooh, oh, that's the girl from that's there. Right. She went that's and right. said hello. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to go like this in order to see you. Uh, you're still there, though. You wanted to bring her over? You want to sit with you? Yeah. Would you? than it was before. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. That's the great thing about any other yeah. business. This would be sexual harassment. <laughs> yeah. Any other business, if you said, I want that woman next to me right now, well, you would be sued. Lawyers well, would be now. Now, you offered that. I didn't say oh, yeah. that. I simply said the view wasn't as good. Not to say that you and the tie aren't cool. Because <laughs> you're cool. No, no, I, I think it's safe to say that's not cool. But you know. <laughs> we got to take a break? I will take a break. I want to ask you about directing the ER. Oh, please. We'll please. do that when we come back, right cool. after this. More. And you're going to hang, you right? You can chat. You can hang, as they say. Okay. Be right back with Quentin. More right after this. Oh. Us Panic? He's a service man. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Let me ask you about directing. Err. Err. It, it? Oh, it was a blast. Yeah. It was a blast, but I wasn't like a, a, a it's pretty darn fast, man. Yeah, it's TV like, goes quick. Yeah, well, it's real quick. Yeah. Boy, you don't mess around. <laughs> you know, it's like a, like a, a eight or nine pages a day, you know, and it's more like. What would you shoot in a movie? How many pages a day? Uh, I, I actually kind of shoot pretty fast, to tell you the truth, on a film, but it's like, you know, it's, it's you know, let's say five pages, but it's like a relaxed Right. Five, yeah. all right. You know, here, and also my scenes usually are about five pages each anyway, all right. right. You know, here these are all little, like, short little bits, right. all right, and you got to do, do a zillion of them. And, you know, basically, you get it on the second one, you don't go, wait around for a third one, you well, know. Anthony uh, Edwards is here about a week ago, and he yeah, was uh -huh. describing your. Here, here he is doing his impression of you directing. Right, here he is. And he, he directs like he, he says, okay, okay, you guys, you, okay. Now, what happens is you doctors over here, okay? And then the camera goes whoosh, like this, okay? And then the gurney, the gurney comes right down here and you got, you're, you're, you're the guy on the gurney, right? You're like this. Ah, 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 ah. And then, okay, and then we go like this and we whoosh up here and, this is, and we're all like, wow, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> but see, I think that's great that you do. Uh, that you do TV stuff, because I know you're a big fan of TV. Like, oh, you're yeah, a big yeah. David Hasselhoff fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Baywatch. Yeah. Baywatch is a cool Baywatch. show, and I like David. He's cool, he's cool. I'm waiting for him to make that feature leap, boy, I tell you. How, to do feature? Yeah, I'm waiting to do that feature leap. He's going to start making features and everything. I'm a big Baywatch fan. Every week? Not every, actually, you know, I, 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 wa I watch it quite a bit, but I actually watch a lot of it in Europe. Yeah. Because I'm uh, when, I, when I lived in Europe for a little bit. Oh, hang, hang on. <laughs> Hello? David? Who's that? That's Jay, Lena. Hey, Jay, how you doing, buddy? Good, good. Quentin and I are just sitting here talking about you. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I heard. What's going on, guys? Hey, well, I'll put him on the phone. Quentin, David has a hawk. Uh, <laughs> hey, David. How you doing, pal? Really good. How you doing? Well, I'm down here in Malibu, and I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking about hearing you guys talking about me, and I wanted to... <laughs> To say maybe we could do a show, we could call it Pulp Baywatch. There you go. Now, you want to do a guest star on my show, or you want to come and direct one of these? Oh, man. Well, you know, i got to say, you know, lining up all your uh, wonderful co-stars, all right, in shots would be really, really cool. Well, you know, However, how... be, you know, we could have you running down the beach in slow motion, and I could have all the female lifeguards come over and rescue you one by one. Oh, well, okay. The only thing I'm wondering about is if I could get some little, like, you know, mouth-to-mouth -mouth kind of uh, rescuing <laughs> going on. No, uh, not with you. Not with you. No, uh, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I will, I will sit back and just smile for the cameras and take pictures. I'm, I'm totally into that. I'm yeah, totally that's, into that's that. That's what I usually do anyway. I'm beyond rescuing. I'm too old for that now. I just go, someone's drowning. Go get them. There you go. That's, uh, someone in. That sounds great. That sounds great. By the way, I know you're a big fan of the show, and I got a couple of presents for you. Uh, oh, Jay's got something can. here. The first thing is hot off the market. It's not even out yet. It's oh. a collector's item. It's the Baywatch Barbie and Ken doll. Oh, this is great. And now, as you can tell, uh -huh. this, uh, the Ken doll was made in your image. Oh, yes, it, it does look like me a little bit, <laughs> I have to say. It's very close. Very close. And we also have a pair of uh, swim trucks. Oh, hey, and I'm going to look so great in these, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to model them tonight, as a matter of fact. Oh, you guys. Well, listen, you guys have a great show. And Quentin, I'm a major fan, and I appreciate all the good things you guys say. Jay, uh, no hey. more Baywatch butt jokes. Oh, no, I didn't do any Baywatch jokes tonight, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. All right, talk to you later. All right, guys, bye bye. Bye-bye, David. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Tell me about Destiny turns on the radio. Now, now you're not, you're an actor in this movie. Well, I'm an actor in it. Right, exactly. I'm, I'm Destiny in it. And, uh, let's go, I'm gonna hold on to these. Uh, uh, it, it's kind of funny, they, they describe it. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> They describe it in the movie as my character, because I play this kind of outwardly godly-like character. They describe him as a god with a little G. Right. Now, I'm not the god, right. I am a god. Right, a god. Yeah, a god, you know. And I turn on the radio in it, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I see, I see you in all the promos. So. Yes, I know. Well, it, it actually, it's funny, though, because it's like, I, I, I get a kick out of the movie, I like the movie and everything, but I'm, like, in it about 20 minutes, all right, you know, interspersed throughout but the whole movie. Like yeah. I see, like, all, if you've seen the trailers, that's all my scenes in it. I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm watching, wow, wow, look at all that, you know. And I saw them, wait, I don't remember filming any more than that. <laughs> well, Quentin, congratulations on all hey. your success. Thank Good you. Luck. Come back and see us again anytime. Enjoy okay. your whole ride. Hey, I'll be right back with Tully 